everybody, and this is Tinker, and this is Tinker's Rant Show. Um, it's been a wild weekend, a wild week, because of all the storms that have been going on. Uh, today, <coughs> my, <coughs> I'll probably make this short, since, uh, For some reason, Facebook is having issues with their live, Facebook Live, and so I got a notice here that says the keyframe rate is too slow. Let's figure that one out. Hey, Nancy! Kids, see? <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, good seeing you. Um, anyway, uh... First things first, before I get, forget, get this out of the way. Uh, DeSantis of Florida, the, you know, the idiot governor there, uh, he wants to take over Disney's district. Well, per, uh, Florida's constitution, he can't, not supposed to. But what I suggest to Disney is Pull everybody out of there, shut the place down, and rebuild and move somewhere else to another state that will welcome Walt Disney, or welcome Disney, Disneyland. Um, he doesn't understand how this and everything works. Hey, Dorothy, good seeing you. Um, he's an idiot, and... If he keeps this up, he's going to lose a lot of major businesses that do, can do, do conduct business in Florida. And they're going to lose money over that. So, suggestion to Disney. Transfer your employees along with you and get out of Florida and move somewhere else. Move to another state that can take you in. And, um, set up a dis dis Disneyland district there and provide jobs. I'm sure places like Arizona or uh, California already has one. What about like Colorado or uh, Wisconsin, somewhere in the Midwest, Missouri? Uh, some other state that will take Disney in. I'm sure that they will. Uh, because the Californians left Disneyland alone in California. They let them conduct their business the way they need to conduct it. And uh, it creates jobs. Because so people like doing reimagineering re in Disneyland. They really do. They make things fun for everybody. So. Either DeSantis needs to have his head slapped uh, and be told to his face, leave Disneyland alone. Leave Disney World alone. Or you leave Florida. You go somewhere else. I don't think DeSantis has no right to be governor there. Because when Jeb Bush was governor, he left Disney. He let Disney alone, uh, world alone. He let them. Con he let companies conduct businesses because he understands that each business is different. And DeSantis doesn't understand that or refuses to study that. So that's my suggestion to Disney World. Um. Now, of course, along the political lines and everything that's going on and politicians interfering with other businesses, how they conduct their business and everything else, not understanding how things are set up. Um, as usual, Bolbert and MTG are being ignorant idiots. Uh, I-I's, as I call them. Ignorant idiots. 
uh, just still trying to grab attention with all these crazy comments and everything else, just to stay relevant. Well, you know what? Nobody cares about them. They don't care what they say, because what they say is wrong. It doesn't work that way. And they're not in reality. Both Bulbert and MTG. Matter of fact, they should not belong in Congress. They should be booted. They don't belong there. They're not doing any, um, what's the word, um, public service. Is what they're not doing. Okay. Um, now, the smarter Republican, House Republicans, not the radical ones like MTG and Boba, are, they're the radical element. They, the radical element needs to be given the boot. Uh, the good ones that use common sense, knows how things work, and been there for a while, uh, they're slapping back at both at Bulbar and MTG and said, no, it's not, it, that's not going to work. Uh, matter of fact, they should push on booting them out, expelling them from Congress is what they should do. Um, according to MTG, over the weekend in this past week, or toward the end of the weekend, she made a comment about a national divorce. In other words, the red states succeeding from the blue states. Well, that doesn't work. That's happened before during the civil, prior to the Civil War. States succeeding from the Union. Well, they discovered themselves in a dire straits because they were not part of the Union and not part of the United States, and they were not getting the funds needed to keep going. Because their leader, so-called leadership did not understand how things really work. Same here. Same thing applies here. MTG and Bobert doesn't know how things work. When people try telling him the face, no, that's not how it's done. No. No. Because after the Civil War, a, I think a clause was put in, I gotta double check that, a clause was put in to prevent something like from happening again. They go, no, you cannot succeed from the Union unless you get permission from Congress. Well, you know full well Congress is gonna take forever to get permission. Matter of fact, it's downright difficult. If Bulbert and Green and Jordan and Gostar and Gates uh, don't want things to be positive here, as it were, then they should move somewhere else. They should move to Epstein's Island. Yeah, right, Nancy. Right, and I think Georgia's going to lean toward blue really well. Because right now, in her district, they're turning against her. They're going, uh-uh, no, 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 no. It's going to be bye-bye. And frankly, they should change the thing in Congress when those that lose their seat should not re still receive severance pay. They should be cut off and... Uh, the money could be used for other things, really could. Um, and they need to be taught to stand on their own two feet. Now, as you and I as working Americans, we stood on our two feet. We worked, okay? And I think those in Congress, those like MTG and Grover, don't seem to understand the real working, real working world, okay? Now, look at, um, OSC, or OCS. She, uh, I think it's, no, AOC, excuse me, I think it is. 
um, from New York, representative from New York. She understands the working world. She worked in doing bartending. Um, she seen, sees things down on the ground level. And she goes, or it's AOC, I think it is, yeah. Um, she says, no, this is how things, we need to make things better. And she was really sick and tired of the crap that Bobert and, and MTG are doing. She really is. Really tired of it, including Gosser. And some of the other Republicans are a little bit ignorant. And she's telling them, go do your homework. So, um, frankly, I think Bober and MTG need to be ignored. Just as Trump, as he who shall not be named, is being ignored. Uh, he's still trying to be relevant, doing his rallies and everything. His rallies are not working. They're, they're peanuts. And, um... I understand the GOP now has cut him off. They won't pay for his legal bills. No more. So, he's going to be dirt broke. And he's right now in such deep legal trouble, it's not even funny. Um, so, um, look at that. Um, uh, of course, you know, over this past week, we've been fighting Mother Nature somewhat, or let's say, trying to get along with her. <laughs> Hasn't been easy. Uh, we've been hit by major, for a major blizzard, snow. California's getting hit. Uh, some parts of California getting hit, especially in the Santa, San Bernardino Mountains area, Big Bear Lake is getting hit. Um, they had like five feet of snow there. Uh, I've been watching the Eagle, uh, Shadow and Jackie, the bald eagle pit, lives in Big Bear Lake. And they weathered the blizzard there. They're doing pretty good, pretty well. Um, so the storm's going to be heading through, basically, into the Midwest. Batten down the hatches, Nancy. Uh, it's going to be a wild one. Right now, there have been a number of tornadoes that developed. Uh, a hot bomb. Let me pronounce it, hot bomb. Yeah, Haba, which is a real nasty dust storm. Goes from Arizona into uh, rejecting their may hit Texas. Um, and, of course, Arizona. Um, Mother Nature is raging. That's what she's doing. She's really a raging on this. Um... So, stay safe, make sure you've got plenty of supplies and food and everything, and just hunker down and just wait it through. Up here, we had some rain, uh, some snow. Uh, it's been windy at times, but we're lucky up here in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, I want some sunshine, too. <laughs> um... Yesterday it was pretty sunny. Uh, it was somewhat sunny. Uh, I expected we were going to get hit with snow. <coughs> <coughs> but the crows were out flying. The, I have barn swallows living up here in my little cubby hole thing underneath the roof up here. Uh, of Loki could see them. Uh, they're flying around. Crows are flying around. Uh, I hear, sometimes I hear chickadees if they're loud enough, uh, but mostly the, um, barn swallows are flying around. Now, I did see earlier 
this morning I did see a red tail hawk flying around uh, trying to catch his meal or looking for something so anyway uh, again through that storm please stay safe now um, Of course, you know, as of last week, uh, President Carter has gone into house spent, home house spent. Uh, he doesn't want any, want any more medical intervention going on. Uh, he's getting kind of tired from it. Um, he is 98 years old, and he has done his public service really well, especially when he was one term president, um, or one term one. I'm trying to remember, President Carter, one term or two terms? Do, you get, do any of you guys remember? Um, I think it was one term. Anyway, I gotta check on it. Uh, and then after his presidency, he did public service by volunteering with Habitat for Humanity and setting up the center there to deploy, uh, coordinate and deploy groups of people to help build homes for low income. Which I think is kind of neat. Yes, one. Okay, thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Uh, sometimes my memory doesn't always serve me. <laughs> you know how it is when you get older. Um, your, your, your brain comes to a screeching halt and go, wait a minute, what do I remember about that? Hmm. So anyway, um, anyway, the town of Plains, Georgia are preparing themselves to say goodbye to President Carter. They know he is not doing really well. Uh, they've been, now, I think both he and Mrs. Carter have been married 70 years together, which is pretty good, pretty good for a long married couple. You don't see that very often. Um, so anyway, they're, they're preparing to say goodbye, and when I heard him went into house spins, I was going, yeah, his time is near. And as he, as he said, he's not afraid of death. As a matter of fact, he's kind of looking forward to it. Uh, he's done a time here. He says, after all, all of us are passing through here. He says, those of us who are afraid are afraid of the unknown. You don't know what to expect. Well, when you're finally done in. Uh, you may not care after that. You may not remember. So, hard to say, you know. Um, of course, you know, as of yesterday, uh, it was kind of sad to learn. Uh, we heard from Buddy Rogers' daughter, uh, as of yesterday, Buddy Rogers passed away. He died from his injuries that he received last year in a motorcycle accident. Uh, apparently his injuries caught up with him. Uh, which is really kind of sad, really. Um, he stuck with us through thick and thin here at the Blue Dot family. And... Uh, put out his opinion of what he thinks that should be happening. He never liked Trump. He never did. Um, so, rest in peace, buddy. You'll be missed. I talked to him a couple of times, a couple, three times about music and songs and everything, and he gave me some of his, um, not his songs, literally, but what he did was he Play me the right direction um, in the IDB, which is a a um, platform that you know 
various artists and everything, the movies they watch and the music they do, and they have a catalog for that. Um, and had a number of songs. And he's pretty good. Um, but he will be missed. And, um, now the other Blue Dot family member I'm kind of worried about and I have not heard from was, um, uh, Randy. Ben and Randy. Um, so I don't know what's going on with him. I haven't heard of Pete from his family or his daughter. Uh, I certainly hope that his daughter does not isolate him from other friends, especially online friends. I hope she's not doing that. That's not a thing to do, okay? Um, I don't know what she's afraid of or anything, but you think that she would want to encourage her dad to keep doing what he's doing. Um, so, unless he's fighting dementia or something that's going on, I don't know. Um, I guess there's really no new news of that. Now, Randy Peterson is trying to keep tabs what's going on there with him, too. Um, so, we could pr all we can do is just pray. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to be shutting down early. I'm not feeling very good. I've been fighting a sore throat. Headache, sneezing, I think I'm coming down with a cold. Fun! Uh, it's been going around up here. Um, so anyway, have a wonderful evening. And I will keep you posted on other stuff, which I'm still working on. Um, Nancy, uh, Shopify has did some revamping and for the store owners, trying to make things easier for them, like advertising, shipping, and everything else. They've taken over the shipping portion. Nice, huh? Uh, which should make sense for that. So, I will, Nancy. Um, so, I'm going to go have some lunch. I'm going to go have some hot oatmeal. Brown sugar of oatmeal with that. And, um, I will let you know. Keep you posted. Uh, if there's any changes you want to make on your, my store, um, uh, your profile on my store. Be sure to do so, okay? Um, oh, I will. I slept last night, woke up this morning. Well, well actually, Loki woke me up. Uh, he weighs a lot more than Cyrano. Cyrano's not doing very good, so um, he's getting old. He's going to be 15, 15 this year. Uh, Cyrano is five, will be five. Um, uh, so you still think he's a kitten. So, anyway, okay, I will see you guys later. I will post, be sure to share, post, I'll post this on my YouTube channel. I'm up to 16 subscribers. I want to grow some more. So, you know, do as you can. And, um, I will see you guys. Well, on Wednesday. Tomorrow, uh, Xfinity is supposed to come out and fix our area, our internet area here. Uh, do some upgrading. This might, what happened was last Friday, the internet went down twice on Friday. So I didn't trust it. I didn't want it to go down in the middle during my chat show. That's, that's why I canceled. <laughs> um, but they're, gonna, they're supposed to fix it uh, tomorrow. Because I told them um, via chat that, hey, you guys need to check our area. Because it's been, it's been flickering. It's been going up and down. So you guys need to check it. The whole area. Cable area. My neighborhood. So, anyway. They're going to be doing maintenance on it. Okay? Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.